Hello and welcome back to some Akuma MC Skyblock. Where we last left off, we had a challenge and a request and I couldn't complete it. And I realized I was an idiot because if we go ahead and check slash quests, I'm going to out myself here. Get your spawner limit to perk level 3. I went ahead and completed that because I realized I'm an idiot. I thought it said AFK radius. So I was like, okay, I got to kill mobs. It was to place down literally... 20 total zombie spawners and i already had 10 placed down now our next quest was uh, after that was to do 5,000 grinding actions then i had to do this which actually i didn't even do this it just auto completed so now we're on open a pet egg and then our next thing is literally carrot grower so i'm gonna go ahead and salvage some of these because obviously i don't want the common pets they're just not worth my time i don't really use xp or use the xp pet i can't actually do this because my island mastery is not quite there yet which means that this unfortunately has to wait until another time what i also want to do is do slash pets and level this guy up i've got 392,000 gems right now so i can get a lot of levels into him i at least want to get him to level 10 let's go further actually fairly certain this is a decent way to make uh money but also i think it's going to be a really good way to make gems uh and that's kind of what i'm going for as well but, of course, I know logging is also very good. If only they had an area where I could do this, but farming. You know, just infinite farming. Even if it was slightly nerfed. I would just love the idea of doing that so that I could actually grind my skill instead of waiting on my farm or building a bigger farm. Like, I get that's part of the joy of Skyblock, but I just feel like it takes way too long. Especially for these challenges where you gotta do, like, 10,000. Although, to be fair, that's... You know, not that bad, apparently, because I already have it done. Maybe I will do this as a, as, a, as a skill grinding session. And also, I can get some really cool rewards if I do logging, so that's partly why I want to do it. But for now, I definitely want to try and get some more efficiency books. Spawns in a zombie that helps you mine. That sounds freaking awesome. It's not what I was after, but it sounds awesome. I definitely want to get a satchel, but I want it to be like gold or diamond tier by the time I get one. Because if I'm going to like put some levels into it, I definitely want it to be on something that's... I'm gonna be stuck on for a while. Oh, and we're on gold officially. Good thing I didn't buy an iron one. Because it was, like, right here. It's 40 to unlock the diamond mine? Oh, then I, I guess gold's the one, because I'm gonna be on gold for a long f***ing time. Yay, I'm skill level 16! And ultimate skill level 6. Ooh, turbo miner. I'm also very curious to see how, see how much of a money difference I'm gonna make. I've almost filled the satchel. Yeah, almost filled the satchel, plus I got some diamonds in my inventory. Um, I kind of actually want to also get these keys out. Ooh, we got another book. All right, we're just going to do a sell real fast. It's, it filled the satchel, but not our inventory. That is 74000 That is some serious money. Oh, I'm just going to max out efficiency because I'm pretty sure this might settle it. Now, one thing I don't know, every time that the blocks around me break because of my pet... Is that technically breaking the blocks, and does that cause enchants uh, for my pickaxe to be able to proc, like transfuse and stuff like that? Whenever I see that it proc, if I look at the blocks coming out from it, if it's all gold, then it's a no. Yeah, it's all gold. Okay, well that kind of sucks, but that's also fine. I have three books now. Oh, you know I gotta go. I already have max book hunter, but it could be good. But like I said, efficiency is what I'm prioritizing, unless it's precision mining. Um, because that's the main thing I want. Or, I don't know, maybe I'll, maybe there's some other enchants I'll feel spicy about. I'm gonna grab this. We can essentially get to fortune too, because I have one fortune book on my island that I'm gonna go grab. Precision mining! So far, this isn't very good for gems, I'm realizing. I thought it would be. I think woodcutting, though, is actually very good uh, at making gems. The only thing is... Again, I don't have a really good axe for that. Oh, hey! Barry spawned in to help mine. Oh, well, he only mined a few, but... That's still pretty good. Thanks, homie. I gotta hit, I gotta hit 20, right? I gotta... Ooh, we got another mining book. That's awesome. So after uh, I hit uh, level 20, I'll go ahead, open this book. And honestly, you know what? I guess I'll head over to the logging world and we'll do that. The last time we did woodcutting, I was trying to unlock the next area through... Or for this quest to get us an airdrop. But apparently it's level 15, not 10 anymore. There is gonna be a point where we basically just one-shot trees by hovering over that. It gets insane. Oh my god, wait, this is actually insane for getting gems. Wait, this is so good. This is probably the skill that I actually want to do. And once I fill my inventory, I'm going to see how much this sells for to see where it compares to. Keep in mind, iron, a roughly a full inventory was about 50-ish thousand, about 40 to 50 thousand. This, I'm not really sure. So we're already one level down, well, one and a half levels down, which is actually very good. I'm debating on honestly not using this pet and just using my other pet, but for now, I'm not going to do that. 
Give me something good, Tim the Enchanter. Efficiency, I mean, absolutely. If this succeeds, that puts me at efficiency four. So now we do 17.6 on normal hit, and I can't even see the crit. Well, I probably need to find a better tree, like one of these trees if I want to see. So it does 35 crit. That is insane. Oh, we got another book. That is absolutely beautiful. So then after I fill my inventory, I'll go ahead and check what this book is. Hopefully the deficiency. I mean, that's all I really want, I think. Oh, my inventory is full. Let me go ahead and do slash sell all. 79,000? Oh my god, that is so much better than iron. You know, I still haven't gotten any souls unless they auto deposit, which... I don't think it's the thing, because you have to deposit five souls is one of the things, so... And I think I have zero out of five. I just don't get any. And I don't know why. I'm just unlucky, I guess. This should... Okay, this should do it! Yes, level 15, which means we unlock the next area. I think these are it for quests, which means the max reward is just two... Uh, or I guess, yeah, Storm Caves is... Probably gonna be the last one I I literally will never complete that one. I, I'm just I'm just gonna never complete that one. There's there's no way. Now I want to try and fill my inventory and see uh just how much money Birch sells for. Because obviously each time you go up, it sells for more. And the good thing about it, to my knowledge, is the HP doesn't go up. I didn't even look at the damage now. We're now doing like 22 to the to it. I can't even see the other thing. I'd have to like hit the crit and then like let it go away. I see an enchanted tree. Give me that enchanted tree. Some more enchanted trees. There sure is a second enchanted tree and a third enchanted tree and a fourth over there. The enchanted trees are going to help me get this a lot easier. And tree chopper's done. That's good. Love it. Ah, oh, it's an ultimate spirit. Hey, hey, man. Didn't see you there. Is that your tree? Nothing? Are you, are you like, like, this game is a scam. There are no souls. Like, it has got to be the rarest drop I've ever seen in a video game. This feels like it's close enough to a full inventory. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is do a quick sell... Oh, let's see what we make. 116,000. Okay. That's actually a, a pretty significant increase. But I feel like the gold was about the same. Well, I think it is time to open some things. Now, obviously, I've got these to open up here, but I also have some keys to open. This is gonna be insane. You can see each time I do salvage all, I get like a thousand gems, roughly. Which is absolutely wild. And then I'm gonna have more things to open. I just don't want to deal with it. Uh, do I do the reward filter? Oh, I have to do it, don't I? I'm doing it. Anything that doesn't stack, basically, I'm getting rid of. Um, and I don't need any more of those. If it doesn't stack, I'm not keeping it. Unfortunately, that cuts down on the amount of gems I'm gonna get at the end. But on the bright side, I can sit here and just spam open keys. Like, this is actually really good. And I can even, like, do it with these keys, too. And, like, these keys, except I'm gonna not get anything really good. I mean, these keys are just insane, dude. They are just insane. I'm probably not gonna do my cloud keys, but I will try to get through some of these storm keys. I have a lot of them, though. I'm not opening the rest of them because it's just, it's getting to be a little crazy. I'll open all 17 of these first, and then I'll go ahead and do, like, a little salvage all, and it'll get rid of any of the ones I just don't want, right? Good, and you know what? I actually don't want the rest of these either, so I'm just gonna do that too. And now we have uh, this guy, which is a masterful monopet. That is actually pretty damn good. And now for our nine holy pet eggs, which we're gonna do the same thing. Salvage. Masterful. You already have masterful. Never mind. You are an epic airdrop. And then we'll do all three of these ultimate airdrops and then our V kit crates. We did get a lumberjack uh, thing. That's gonna be very fun. I wanna mess with that in the future. We've still got two more. Two more ultimate airdrops. And from this one, we're gonna get, uh, ooh, my god. More grinding robots, which I'm just gonna go and put up because we seem to be getting more and more grinding robots. I'm gonna have to build another area. Well, we got some decent things from that, but now it's time for our V kit clusters. What do we get? Money, keys, a lot of money, more keys, and. 24 mining robots. Three epic airdrops, one custom tag, money, Tempest keys, storm keys. The kit Outlander. Well, I can try and see if anyone has the other kit that I don't have unlocked and maybe make a trade for it in the future. I'm going to save these for next time. I'm going to put this there. But that is what I'm going to go ahead and call it this one. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. Make sure you join the server. All the information is down in the description. And I'll see you guys in the next one.